So welcome back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Shy Town Loon. <laughs> yeah, the and Loon. Folks, nothing shy about me. No, that's true. But whenever we're in one of our favorite towns in the entire world, the cities, the Windy City, Chicago, yeah. we cannot not get what we're going to make today. We, let's tell them. Let's tell them. <laughs> we're doing our Chicago style deep, deep dish pizza. pizza. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's another one of those dishes you may be thinking, I can't make that. Yes, you can. It's and we're going to show you. It's all about this crust and folks, Oh my God. Well, it's also about the sauce and everything else, yes. but it's really about the crust. I right. mean, it really is. And, and the crust up. is amazing. Yeah, it's a crust. It's upper crust. It's so yeah. good. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk. Let's get back to that. We're going to give yes. you a little tutorial on that, but yeah. let's talk about the components. The sauce. And you may be noticing this enormous yes. can of. Look at that. Tomato that. sauce. It's so interesting. So it's, it's called ground it's a brand, tomatoes. It's a brand called 7 Eleven. I'm going to have a link for it, but if you'll notice, to, uh, pizza shops, uh, really authentic Italian restaurants all around the world, they use this brand, and they they only sell it in these mega, you know, because they use such large quantities. <laughs> and me being me, I had, had to get to buy it. You know. one. But can you see? I'm like, can you see? what are you making when you're going to have a one. lot of pizza sauce? <laughs> but it's more than you use it for more than just pizza sauce. Yeah. These are beautiful, and it's ground tomatoes which is very, very similar to crushed tomatoes. It's just it's slightly different in the way it's prepared, but these are Amazing, yeah. when they're at the height of their, just right when they're peak and they immediately put them in there. Look how yes, red that is. that is amazing. And if you could smell it, it's incredible. If you can't find, you can occasionally find ground tomatoes by another uh, manufacturer in the um, tomato section of your supermarket. It'll just say ground tomatoes. But if you can't find that, go with crushed tomatoes and that's fine. Okay. okay. I've talked about that. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna actually start the sauce and so that you, um, what, what? <laughs> I guess. You've got two thirds of a cup. Here we go. Sorry, I completely two, blanked. Yeah, what a surprise. Two thirds a two cup, thirds a of, cup of, of tomato just paste. Just good old tomato paste, okay? <laughs> yes. Boy, we're starting off with a bang here. I'm so sorry. I just, Every, I'm always saying, hey, this is so easy. And you're I like, completely I lost my train of thought. Wow, sorry. that never happens. So okay. that was two thirds of a uh, cup of tomato paste. And now we've got a quarter cup of this wonderful ground tomato. And remember, if you yes. can't find the, if you don't get this, don't worry. It's still going to be delicious. Yes. Um, just use crushed tomatoes. And then we have a teaspoon of ground oregano. And this sauce is so easy. There's no cooking. There's no boiling. Oh, dry there's oregano, no sorry. J j anything. You just, we're going to start it and then it's ready to go. Pinch of salt. Pinch of kosher salt. And then a dash, well, a half a teaspoon yeah, of just olive a dash. oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Yes, there we go. It's coming out. Okay. And then, so now what he's going to do, if I can just move you right along. Yeah. We want to get that fully um, incorporated. If you could just move other. me right so around. So gonna, he's going to continue stirring that until it's, it's really, really smooth. smooth. Yes. And then we've got these whole tomatoes that we're going to blend in that's yes. so good. You guys, this is incredible. This so is tell so, them about the cheese Okay, so Okay, um, so this is my <laughs> cheese. What this is, I love using a really fresh mozzarella. You can use the pre-shredded bag. That's okay. That's fine. But if you can get fresh mozzarella, and then it's so fresh that it's, you know, when I, sh uh, when I use a box grater to shred it, it's almost crumbly like that. But this is four cups. Um, we got a lot of cheese. Now, just so you know, this is going into a 12-inch deep dish pizza pan. I've got mm -hmm. a link for it in the blog post. Um, I love this size. It's just, just really, really great. It makes a great size pizza. Uh, but you can also do this, this particular recipe in two nine inch pizza pans. Um, just make sure that they've got straight edges. You can also do this in a cast iron skillet. Uh, you could do it in two nine inches or one nine inch and save the dough or you could do it in 12. So there's a lot of varieties but we love our 12 inch um, deep dish pizza. Yes. Okay, now let me talk about this. We love to do ours with Italian sausage, sweet or spicy. So good. Sweet is good. You don't have to do meat. You can also do other variety. You can do pepperoni or whatever, but we love, the classic is with Italian sausage. So all I do is I just get, um, these are links, and this, I'm using about four links here. No, not about, I always say about. <laughs> We're using exactly four links here, and uh, which is going to be very close to a pound. And then I just, you know, cut, use, use my fingers just to pinch off a good little healthy pinch of that, and uh, you're going to have that. So that's really the components of this pizza. How's and then we're, then we're going to top. That's beautiful. Good. Now, if you want to start, so now he's got. I've got some whole tomatoes. A in can here. of whole. To we of course, I love my San Marzano. 
Uh, so, but what I did was I drained them. Now there's going to still be some juice as they sit there. So I squish this into here. You squish it into there. Get okay. squishy with it. Like just the whole thing. Yeah, just that's fine. You don't have to like over. You don't have to completely pulverize it. Oh. Because okay. there's a little. You want a little texture of tomato in this sauce, which is yeah, very traditional and very delicious. I love squishing tomatoes. I know, and you do it really well. <laughs> I'm just glad you're. Doing I just it. don't want to get it on I'm my glad shirt. You're doing it with your hands and not your feet this time. Okay. So <laughs> now we are going to show you how we made this gorgeous, gorgeous pizza dough that's gonna be the best crust you've ever had and will make. It's amazing. So we start with three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. We add this to our stand mixer that's been fitted with the dough attachment. To that, we add a third a cup of medium ground cornmeal, one and a half teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of sugar. Then we're going to add one package, which is two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast or rapid rise yeast. And we're going to lower the mixer and just mix it until it's well combined. Then we're, we're going to need some water. We've got a cup and a quarter of warm water and a quarter cup of melted butter. Both of them need to be around the temperature uh, between 95 and 105 degrees. Add the melted butter to the flour mixture and then slowly pour in the warmed water. You'll see the batter begin to form. Do this nice and slow, and then let the mixer continue to run for about five minutes until the dough is completely come together and it's almost satiny and no longer sticky to the touch. As best you can, pull it off of the hook, remove it from the bowl, and then just use your hands to form it into a ball. Then spray a bowl with cooking spray and then turn the dough around to get it covered with the, with the oil and then cover with plastic. And then you're gonna to wanna to place this in a non-drafty warm place. If your oven has a proofing mechanism on it, then use that. After about 90 minutes to two hours, the dough should have doubled in size. Remove it and then lightly flour your work surface and just dump that dough right out and then using your hands punch it down just a few times. Then use a rolling pin to roll the dough out to about a 9 inch by 15 inch rectangle. Now we've got a quarter cup of softened butter and we're going to spread that all over the dough. Then from the short end of the rectangle we're going to start to roll up that dough jelly roll size or jelly roll style. Tuck in the ends as you go, doesn't have to be perfect. And then just pick the whole thing up and use your hands and form it into a ball again. Beautiful. Now we grab our bowl, we place the dough back in it, and we're gonna cover it again with the plastic wrap. Then we're gonna stick it in the refrigerator for 45 minutes to an hour. It will have risen again. Now you, you dump it out on a floured surface and we're gonna roll it out to the size that will fit into your pizza pan. If you're using a 12 inch pan, then you're gonna to wanna to have enough for layover. So it's gonna to wanna to be anywhere from 18 to 17 inches, even 20 inches would be okay. Now you get your pizza pan and you get a little bit of oil and you just pour a few drops of oil in there and use some paper towels to help distribute that oil all around the pan. It's important that it's nicely oiled. Then to help you transfer the dough, you just fold over one side and then fold it over again and then just gently place it into the center of the pizza pan. And then unfold it. Now this doesn't have to be perfect um, and it probably won't be, but you can use your hands to kind of help coax it over the edges and start to form it into place. And then take a knife and trim away any excess and then just use your fingers to kind of help put everything in the right place. And you've got pizza dough ready to be assembled and baked. Okay, now see, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> and so you know, easy. It just takes a while. Well, you It has to proof for... Proof, yeah. yeah it's, or as you call it, poofing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. But so this is one of those things that... Chicago-style pizza is great on a weekend night i mean you know it's great any night of the it's week but so it's a fun wonderful. saturday project i mean i love it and or sunday it's 
I can't even. Yeah. I'm, I'm already wait. mouth watering. And so we finished this. If you can uh, see, we yeah. blended in those. It's well those blended. Crushed and tomatoes, make sure it's just smooth those together. Those tomatoes. Yeah. And now we're gonna build it. Okay. So just just going back to this door real quick. Yeah. So you know, you it doesn't have to be perfect, but and your your sides may start to fall down a little bit. That's okay, um, because as we fill this, it'll hold them back up. But um, you know, just you're you're good. So this is the way it is. Okay. So now be, the wonderful other great thing about this is you don't have to cook the meat first. No. It cooks in the oven. I love that. Um, but because this, this this entire pizza does take a little longer, oh, I was going to do this in layers. Um, because this pizza, pizza takes longer to get everything cooked, it does take longer in the oven than, say, a traditional thin crust pizza. <laughs> so it's going to go for almost 30 minutes. Yeah. So uh, what was my point in saying that? Oh, because you don't want that the juice from this meat to really permeate and get down into that Got it. dough and make it really spongy, we kind of do the reverse right. of what you do in the most pizzas. A reverse we pizza. start with the cheese, and then, then we the go meat, with the meat, and, and then, then we go with the, the sauce, sauce, and then we add another little Parmesan on, yes. on, on top. Okay, so we're ready to do that? <laughs> yes. Here we go, folks. <laughs> I love that. I love it when we do that. I just feel like the bionic I, man. I it's so fast. Okay. But anyway, all right. So now we're going to just put this beautiful even. sauce. Oh. You know, and, and I can't, I'm, I, it's crazy. Yeah. I know. No wonder I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> I don't is, think I ever had my train of well, thought. Well, it went out on the <laughs> train, the pizza train. It's, okay. Oh, uh, the, we, had, uh, we have some friends in Chicago, and we always make them take us to, oh, what is the place called? I, I knew you were going to say that. I and, know. Uh, and I, it begins with, man, man, I can, sorry. <laughs> all of our, uh, everyone, all of our fans are like, I can't in believe Chicago, you don't know they're that. like, what? What? How do you not know that? <laughs> but anyway, um, but I, I have to tell you, when you make this, it's better than um, any, well, I shouldn't say it's better than anything you're getting in Chicago because then we really will get death threats. Yeah, we but, um, will. <laughs> it's so good. So this is, this is like, just, you want to cover it. This is about a half a cup of parm cheese. Is it cheese. Lombardi's? Lombardi's? No, that's pizza in New York. Isn't oh, it? God, yeah. Okay. Right. And, Oops, okay. don't get that mixed yeah. up. So, okay, no, so now this oh. is going to be, you might want to have like a brace on it. No, but this is going to, this feeds a nice, healthy crowd. Um, okay, so this, yes. I've got my oven. You want it really hot. I've got it set at 475 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's going to go in for really 28 minutes is perfect. But you want to keep an eye on it because you don't want this beautiful crust that you spent some time making to burn. So usually right. after about 15 to 20 minutes, I keep an eye on it, and then you just put a loose uh, foil tent over the top. Just cover it loosely with foil. It's, and then, and it's then we're going to eat it. Okay. I can't oh my gosh. wait. And the smell. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys, <laughs> that's amazing. I, okay, so we we jumped ahead. Yeah. And it, it, here it is. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm so happy. So let me tell you, I feel like we, it's our little we, uh, it's our our baby. baby. Our pizza baby. Our Chicago style baby. <laughs> um, we love Chicago. Yes. Anyway, so what? let me tell you how we got to this beautiful point. Uh, what we did is you saw us put it in the oven. So after about 15 minutes, it's it, and the smell is incredible. It starts to brown beautifully. You yeah. don't want it to get overly brown. So I just put a piece of foil over the top, tented it, and it went for 28 minutes. And then we took it out. Uh, there's going to be some. There's going to be some water that's released from the tomatoes and some of the juice uh, from uh, juices the from the sausage. Yep. It's going to rise to the top. So that needs time to kind of settle, settle down. down and just settle, settle down. down now. And um, that so that takes about ten minutes. If you want to, if you feel like you've got a lot of the juice that's around the side, you can get some paper towel and kind of dab yeah. it. Yeah, um, like those New Yorkers do with their pizza. The flat pizzas, remember, if it's too greasy, they take their paper towel and do oh, this too. Oh, well, we never did that. <laughs> no, we didn't. But um, anyway, but this, let me just say that this this dough, yes. this crust is sturdier than yes, you might think. as you can see from when he took it out of so, the pan. Well, so, uh, Flo, Flo's wanting some pizza. So anyway, 
to take it out of the pan, so we, we put it on a baking rack, and then you can either cut it. It's a little difficult to cut in the pan, but you absolutely can. But just get a nice sharp knife. A, a pizza a, cutter or, is harder because you got to get it. Get it down into the. Yeah, edge I mean you too. can start it with a pizza cutter, but you know use a knife. Right. But what we like to do because it's also just I mean this is a work of it's, art. And it's a sturdy crust. It's a sturdy crust, so you just have to have, have a little trust and maybe a large spatula. And, yes. Um, just get it under there and use your fingers to kind of help lift it up yeah. so you can really get that spatula under there. And it's a little awkward, but you you know then you kind of turn it to an angle and then just yeah. slip it right out. Yeah. Just, just slip it's, it right it out. It doesn't look too graceful, but it works. It does. It does. And I think it's very graceful, actually. So <laughs> yes. anyway, so now we are ready to eat let's, after all of let's that. Let's do it. So, okay, another thing. I thought I was done talking. <sighs> You, if you have one of those big <laughs> knives, I think they're called cutters or something that you see at the big old pizza, you know, pizzerias. That's great for this, but who has those? Right. I mean, so, but the, because this this is not like just really thin crust, we find just a serrated knife cuts right through it mm -hmm. beautifully. So let's hope I can put my money where my mouth yes. is. And we're just going to cut through. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I can't wait, y'all. I know. I just, my mouth just I watered. I just love this. I mean. Now, this uh, this is just as good as Lou oh, yeah. Malnati's. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Lou. We, we've even that's eaten the, there. That's the pizza place that, that we, we couldn't pizza. remember. <laughs> I, you put me on the spot. Here, do you want to use that? Yes, I'm going to. I just want, you know, it's, all, it's always, you it's just like sure. pie that yeah. that first slice is always a little difficult. Yes. To and this is, you know, you want it to sit for a good... Ten, oh wait, I didn't. Okay, <laughs> you got it. I know. Yeah, cut it down. You think you may think that you've got there it. There you go. And you just that's there. That's crust. why the serrated. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. There we go. Okay, sorry, folks. So the first one is always the. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, there's some cheese. The cheese. Oh, oh Lord. my gosh. Uh, there's no ex. There's just there are no words. Um. Uh. No, no words. words. <laughs> and we haven't even eaten it yet. So, <gasps> look at that. That is so beautiful. That I just, I just, I wish. Can they see the the crust? Okay. I'm gonna show them the crust. All right, so I a take little, you always pass a little more Parmesan is nice. Yes. Uh, we love a little red pepper flake mm -hmm. if you like that. It's great. Yes. Um, but and look at that crust. It's just. I am going to cut this and show them this crust. Hold on. Okay. Just. Yeah. Sorry, folks. It's not gonna be pretty. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Look. That is. Look just at that. Crust. <gasps> that is beautiful crust, and then that meat is cooked perfectly. Yes. The tomato yeah. sauce, and I'm telling you, the smell. Oh, and the cheese, and, and the, the cheese. cheese. The cheese. The bears. I'm sorry that I get to eat this first. I know it's not really fair. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing a series of really like home runs lately for you. And wow. Oh, we like it. That's, that's pizza heaven. That is pizza heaven. That is amazing. And that crust, so buttery and delicious. That technique, I'm telling you the guys, it's is the, amazing. The it crust is makes it. It's the it, star. It is. It's the star. And <laughs> are you speechless? I can't even. <laughs> the, oh, it is. Let's say 10,000% Luna Probe. Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh. For the folks, you have no choice but to make this. Yes. Oh. It, all right, you need to let me have some of that. Yeah, you gotta have a patiently. fork. All right, here, you can use this. Give here, me take a, that one. Here look at you that. Go. Take that. Okay, just, just eat it. it to me, you're so dainty. <laughs> ah. There's nothing like it. No, nothing. I mean, Nothing at all. And I think I might even use, yeah, pick use it up. my fingers. There we go. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, my gosh. That is so good. Mm. This is great for mm. serving at a party, like football games. Um, mm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and you can... Oh, I just can... I mm. can't even talk enough about it. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm not messing. Wow. You can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. And go to our social media, like and share us. Make Chicago-style deep dish pizza. It will change your life, I promise. It's, and it's not as hard as it looks. No. It's, it's you, so Well, good. you just saw it. Okay, oh. I'm going in. Uh. Bye, y'all. Bye. The bears. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>